All right, guys. So in this video, we'll solve a problem. Uh, nth node from the last. Right. So if I have nodes, let's say 87, then 22, then 36, then 49, then 91, uh, 65. Right. So and this 65 points to none because the last node and this is head right so this is the head node and it points to none this is the last node what we want is I need a function let's say nth node and inside that function I'll pass the head and I'll pass that which node I want from the last so let's say if my input is 3 so I need the third node from the last so 1 2 Three. So the answer should be 49, right? So yeah, so 49 should be the answer. And so, so we are counting here from the last. So first, second, third and three comma head will pass the head and will pass uh, position as an argument. And this will return us the nth node from the last, right? Now, what's the intuition here? What's our approach? What we'll do? To, to achieve this so, uh, so there are two ways to do it I'll I'll explain both first is it's quite simple like if we have six six elements so 87 22 36 49 91 65 we have six elements and let's say I need a second from the last right let's say uh, I need second element from the last and I pass pass this pass this argument in the function two comma head right so I have six elements and I need the second one from the last. So uh, six minus two, it's four, right? And so first, second, third, fourth, right? So we are one less, less than the rank, right? I mean, we don't, so, so, so that means that, so that means if I want second, second element from the last, so that means that because I want the second element from the last, let me subtract two elements from the total count and let's see how many are there above the second second element right so there are four elements above the second element from the last there are four elements above 91 right so it's very easy for us to to traverse the list from head till here right i mean we can't we can't go in the reverse reverse direction here Right. So from from head only, we have to start. So so now. So now that I know that I have four elements above the second node from the last, what I what I can do is I can add one to four. Right. Why? Because that will give me the rank from the top, from the from the head. Right. So now I need. So I so now I just need to run a loop where till the count reaches five I just have to start from the head and I just have to traverse the list till the count five right and it will give me uh, the second element from the last which is also the fifth fifth element from which is also the fifth element which is also the fifth element from the top right because there are four elements on top of it so plus one is fifth so fifth element from the top is the second element from the last so summary find the total number of counts find find the count of total number of nodes in the list subtract the subtract the rank rank from it and and add plus one to it and traverse the list from the top till the count reaches five so let's implement this in uh, python so I need to create a node first. So I need to create a node first. Class node object initialize it self comma value self dot value equals to value and self dot next node equals to none right 
Now I need to create nodes here. So 32 B is equals to node 87 C is equals to node 76 D is equals to node 31 E is equals to node 43 F is equals to node 543 G is equals to node 312 312 okay so so all the nodes are created let's link them a dot next node equals to b b dot next node equals to c c dot next node equals to d d dot next node equals to e e dot next node equals to f f dot next node equal to g g dot next node equals to h sorry g dot next node equals to none right so the links are so so the links are also created so i have created the links also how many are there seven right so there are seven nodes here 32 87 76 31 43 543 312 right and 312 points to none right so let's say i need the third element from the last so 312 543 43 first second third so i need the third one from the last so the function should return 43 if i pass uh, 3 comma head right to the function so let's write the function def nth node Let me POS and head right now. I'll store head in a temporary, temporary, temporary. I'll store head in a temporary variable and I'll keep a count which will be equal to zero to count all the nodes. And while temporary is not null or none, it should is not null or none count should count is equal to count plus one and temp equals to temp dot next node right and after this loop will will store will will again store head to will again reset the value of temp to head because uh, because here here in this step because here in this this step we have just counted how many nodes are there right so once it is done uh, once that is done once that is done we reset temp to head and we'll we'll start a new count n n equals to zero so two reasons why i won't add a plus one here one is n is starting from zero right and second, uh, we don't really need a plus one here because it is n less less than right. If we put less than equal to maybe maybe we'll I will need to add a add a plus one, right? So I'll uh, leave it to n less than count minus pos and n is equals to n plus one and temp equals to temp dot next node, right? So here we are, we are, we are traversing the list from the, from the top till count minus POS. That means seven minus three. And in the end we'll return temp dot value, right? Let's see if this works. So nth node plus three comma head is A, right? So it should return 43. So I hope you understood the implementation. Uh, we take the count, we we take the input, we take the rank from the end as the input here, three, 
we subtracted from the we subtracted from the total count and then we then we run a loop from the top till we encounter that uh, difference right now there is one more approach to do it so another approach is to take the value from the argument 3 and uh, mark a block of three nodes right mark a block of three nodes and we need to move this marking till the end like this this marking this block will shift will shift this block this marking will traverse through the list right so next time it will be here next time it will be here next time it will be here. so we have to push this marking we have to push this block till the end and the uh, till the end means till the right hand side of block hits hits none right and when the right hand side of the block hits hits none we know that the left hand is at the is at the node which we want right the left hand is we will be the third node from the from the last right so how do we achieve this we'll have two markers here at the top one is one one is a left pointer and one will and one will be a right right pointer right one is a left pointer and one will be a right pointer and we have a value of three here so this right so we'll first we'll first run an iteration where the where the right right pointer uh, moves to the third element and then we have a block now right so once it moves to the third element we need to move this block till the end so how will how we'll do that we will run left and right pointer simultaneously right and we'll stop the iteration where right node where this right right pointer reaches none right so that that means here right so since both are moving simultaneously the left the left the left the left pointer will also stop at some point right so so the left pointer will also stop at some node and will and will and we will return that node which will be the third element from the last right so so let me recap what i said We'll take two nodes left and right and both will both will be pointing towards the head then while both will take two pointers left and right and both will be pointing to the head then I will take the right node and move it till till the till the third position till the third position and then I'll and then once it reaches there and when it reaches there then i'll move both of them simul simultaneously then i'll move both of them simultaneously till the right pointer reaches the till the right pointer reaches none right so wherever the l so when right pointer reaches none wherever whichever node left pointer marks that node will be the third element from the list okay so let's implement this on code so I'll define a function nth node from last right inside this node I'll pass pos position and then I'll pass head right and I'll take two pointers left equals to head and right also equals to head right then I'll run a loop till till the i in range then I'll run a loop, loop till the position right and right and and I'll move just the right right one just the right right pointer so right is equals to right dot next node and once this once right stops at the once right stops at the once the right pointer stops at the position will run 
और राइट पॉइंट विल विल रन विल रन वन मोर लू सो फॉर राइट डॉट नेक्स्ट नोट इज नॉट इक्वल टू नन लेफ्ट इक्वल्स टू लेफ्ट डॉट नेक्स्ट नोट राइट इक्वल्स टू राइट डॉट नेक्स्ट नोट राइट टिल राइट रीच इज नन एंड देन इन दू जस्ट हैव टू रिटर्न लेफ्ट right so so wherever the left so wherever the left stands that's our answer let's see if it works this some error no let's syntax okay maybe it's a while it's, it's valid for only while loop syntax so nth node from last 3 comma a should return 43 oh sorry So it will be left dot value, right? Great. So I hope you got the intuition behind this approach. Uh, so there are two ways. I think both of them are using two loops. So in worst case, maybe O of n will be the time time complexity. If you have a better solution, please let me know in the comment section.